Hey guys, Jordan Harrell here at 1092 Studios in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Melodyne and how we use it here. Specifically the pitch correction tools in this segment. So today we're going to be working on this vocal performance. Specifically this segment right here. I'll play it for you. That I'll remember to the day I die. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's some pitch issues right here, and the sustain notes here and here tend to drift a bit. That's perfect for what I want to show you. So you, when you use Melodyne, you need to make sure it's the very first plugin in the chain. This EMT-140 plate reverb, that'll mess with it. Melodyne won't be able to read it as, as accurately with that reverb on there. So here you go, Celimony, Melodyne Mono. And here's the window. You're going to click Transfer. That engages Melodyne and lets you know that once playback starts again, Melodyne's going to start reading whatever signal is coming into it. So we got our section highlighted that we want to tune. Got Transfer engaged. Now we're just going to engage playback. That I'll remember to the day I die. Cool. There it is. So I'm going to adjust this just to get a better view of it. There we are. That I'll remember to the day I die. So you can see here, the line kind of drifts downwards just a bit here and here. Um, you see the line is is going in and out of the different notes. It says A sharp, A, and G sharp. That right there, we don't want to mess with too much. We might flatten that out a bit. Um, but that's that's a natural vibrato, so we don't want to flatten that out completely. But we need to make sure all of these are, are okay. So for a small section like this, I usually wouldn't do this. I just do everything manually. But because I kind of want to show you guys the tool is there, the correct pitch tool, this affects everything that you highlight. So as you can see, when I, when I move this around, you can see that the blobs, the waveform blobs that Melodyne uses to, to say this is the general area where this pitch is located. The correct pitch center, as you raise it up all the way, possibly even to 100%. Let's do 100% this time. Let's get crazy. The pitch drift tool. So it, that actually helps this quite a bit. Um, so let's actually bring that down and this down because I, I kind of want to show you guys. Let's do it manually. The tools here uh, that you want to be using. I mean you have amplitude, you have the format, we have the timing tools and the note separation. I'll use the note separation quite often actually. Um, if there's any plosives at the beginning of a, of a sung note I usually separate those because if you tune the plosive or any consonant sounds, it might sound un unnatural. Um, so whatever Melodyne put those at, I kind of just let it be. That I'll remember to the day I die. And luckily, we, we lucked out this time. They separated the consonants for us. Sometimes Melodyne has trouble reading that and, and won't do that automatically but they've been good to us today. So let's start by using the pitch modulation tool. We're gonna kinda kinda flatten these lines out a bit. Actually, no, I'm sorry, we're gonna move these these waveform blobs around. What's cool is if you've found the correct pitch, so if you want to tune them precisely, you can just click these blobs and say, you know what, I want it dead in the center of that pitch. You just highlight this, click zero. That means that there's, there, on average, it won't be a single cent sharp or a single cent flat. Um, is, it, is it cheating? We're not gonna call it cheating. We're not gonna do that. 
Not here. Okay, so I've finished that. They're all in the center of what Melodyne thinks is the correct pitch. Let's see. That I'll remember to the day I die. Yeah, one of these pitches here. That I'll remember the mim. Also, if you can't, if the dead center of that pitch seems out of tune to you, you can hold down the alt slash option key, and that lets you slide around rather than kind of the notch of just, the, you know what I mean, the, the just moving around in there. That I'll remember. That I'll remember to the day I die. Cool. Now we're going to use the pitch tool, specifically the pitch modulation tool. I'm not going to I'm not going to flatten these guys out too much cuz like I said before, that's a natural vibrato. I I don't want to kill that completely. But I am going to I'm going to flatten these guys out. That just a little bit. Just a little bit. And the pitch drift tool. This is what I was kind of referring to earlier. As you can see, the, the line is moving downwards here a bit. This is cool because you can, you can really do some wacky stuff with these tools. That I'll remember to the day I die. See, that sounds unnatural. I went too far. So we're going to relax on that a And maybe it's too motionless, so let's bring back that pitch modulation tool. Make that a little bit more extreme so we have some variances in the line right there. Back to the pitch day drift. That I'll remember to the day that I remember to the day I die. Perfect. That's great. Sounds good. Um, yeah, if you were going to break up consonants or if you were going to separate anything, you'd use this separation tool at the very end. You just find where you want to separate and double click and it automatically adjusts the average pitch anyways that's it that does it for this little quick tutorial I hope I hope it helped I'll see you next time